Thanks to smartphones, it's possible to now have more weird and awkward dates per week than ever. And I went through a phase of trying that out myself. She is running. There was the football girl who only spoke about football. That ball goes through and then bam, scored. There was the angry girl. <laughs> and the girl who turned out to be a guy named Andrew. You are right? But there's one date that stands out as particularly awkward. So, I matched with this girl called Hannah. We started chatting and uh, it was pretty good. So we decided to go for a drink. And to be honest, I was excited. I thought we could be in for a, a fun evening. Do you know what's strange? As soon as she came through that door and we locked eyes across the pub, we both knew that there was absolutely nothing between us. Oh, hello. Hey. From the second we met, we yeah. made each nice other to... feel uncomfortable. Nice to, nice to meet you in, uh, in real life. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Uh, do you want a drink? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What, what drink would you... Gin and tonic, right. please. Right, yeah, sure. No One second. There was no question that we were both wasting our time. Good day at work. <laughs> okay, the office politics is insane at the moment. So Ian kissed Liz at the Christmas Crimbo do. She talked about her job for such a long time. <laughs> Steph is like the funniest person in the office. She always puts too much milk in my tea. Milk? Bloody <laughs> it's like a running Bloody joke hell, we've got. Yeah. <laughs> when I told her what I did, well, I'm a, a comedian. Isn't that a really unstable job? Yeah, for uh, unstable people. So. <laughs> Everyone else in the pub was having a great time. Oh, I am having a great night. <laughs> <laughs> we both clearly wanted to leave, but for some reason, he ended up staying for dinner. I'll have the pork belly. I'll just go for that. Uh, just something small and quick. Uh, just some bread. Bread, actually, yeah. Ah, shit. Never order first. And of course, there was a complimentary aperitif. Finally, we said goodbye. I'm heading to the station. Yeah, yeah, me, uh, me too. And even that was awkward. But just well, let's go. Let's go. That was about three hours and about forty pounds that I was never going to get back. So what I wish I'd said is. Hi, Hannah. Pierre. Immediately, I can tell we feel nothing for each other. That is correct. We should avoid this, go home and continue to live our lives. I feel exactly the same way. Goodbye. God, that would have been great. And then I would have gone home. I would have put my washing on and clipped my toenails and finally reorganized my plants. Really nail the plant thing. I might have spoken to my friend Keith, who I haven't caught up with in a while. Dude, I just saw the fattest fox in the garden. And then a rare early night. Could have been the best night of my life. But instead, I had to spend my whole night talking to a person. What a load of old shit.